wanna do is wanna do is wanna teleport. Throw the hands up in the air, yeah, we willing up. Wheels be willing up, show we top billing up. We are here at the original Source Up to Date Festival. I'm representing Blender Art and Zool Nation Chapter Poland. Peace, Aki. Uh, <laughs> over here. And I am here with the legendary Das Effects. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Stop. guys. I have a few questions for you. And the first one will be How did the rap contest look back in the days? Because you, you started your career thanks to one of the contests, uh, <laughs> thanks to the EPMD. I wanted to ask you. Uh, so back in the days, how did they look like? Were they more into freestyle or was it a mix of lyrics that were written before or how did they look like? Ooh, wow, you mean just rap contests in general, not I was specific. Uh, you mean just in general? Well, in general and the, the one that you went to actually. Oh man, well let's talk about the one we went to. Okay, man, cool. Because first of all, you gotta understand, we wasn't nowhere near where we grew up at. You know what I mean? And normally if you go to a rap contest, you probably gather up a bunch of your boys or your crew and you go down from your neighborhood and everything. But we were way like seven hours drive from where we lived. You know what I mean? Way out there with people that we weren't familiar with. You know what I mean? So we went up in there and it was everybody that was from the scenario I just described to you, that's what all the local people did. They got their boys together and got their crew together and went down there to try to try out. And we were the only saw, you know, saw a thumb sticking out like, who the fuck, who are these dudes? He's setting the scene for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, who are these dudes? It was much harder for you. But then we came in there like, yo, whatever, we gonna do what we do, period. And, and it was a lot of things that went down that probably set the scenario for us not to, you know, succeed at that point. And it was everything that could have went wrong, wrong, went wrong, period. But, um, yeah, you know, we, we went in there and we did what we did. We stood tall and we are here now. So, like, I can't really speak on them other rap contests, but I can speak on that one, though. You know what I mean? All right, uh, but, but during that uh, rap contest, did, did you perform in front of the crowd with... Uh, your tracks or were yeah. you freestyling or was it a mixture of that? Nah, nah, we did a, a, a song that we had actually recorded, What's baby. Oh, all right. Um, Clap Your Hands, we did Clap that. Clap Your Hands. Yeah, and um, it was probably a couple of weeks before that. We had just recorded and then we was a little hyped on it, you know what I mean? Sure. Maybe that's why we poked our chest out when we heard that commercial on the radio, like they having a rap contest, like, yo, let's go do it. We got the joint to go do it. If we would have had something corny, we might have been like, mm, I don't know, man, you know. Cool. Uh, and how do you find yourself in the world where hip hop is corporate? How do you find yourself? No, I want that one, no. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Drazy on the uh, mic. Yo, check it, man. I was just watching a commercial for Honey Nut Cheerios, and now it's they use Nelly's Nelly, yeah. from Honey Nut Cheerios. So in terms of corporate, I mean, it's been corporate for a long time, you know what I'm saying? Sure. But now it's getting real corporate. So if you ask the guys... If you ask the guys from today, like Nelly, he's probably saying it's great for me, or Drake, or Lil Wayne, it's great for them. But I mean, corporate for the 80s and the 70s and the 90s, I'm sure it's, you know, it's not that great, you know what I mean? Because corporate, you know, they run shit, you know what I'm saying? So if you're not tied into corporate, you just got to create your own tribe, rebel nation, and hopefully, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because if Hennessy comes in and say, we want to give you $100,000. Or Carrossier. Okay, Carassier. you know what I'm saying? That's corporate. And, you know, money makes the world go around. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh Chuck Taylor, uh, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. On the, uh, I have uh, news. Uh, uh, well, DC, you already know. Yeah, he he took your style. Are you fans of Dave Chappelle, by the way? Huge fan. Huge fans, of course. And uh, when it comes to Family Guy, Quagmire, have you noticed that he's stealing your style too? 
Quagmire. Is he doing the iggity? Or? Yeah, sure. Yeah. No way. Iggity. All the time. All the time. Giggity, 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 giggity. Yeah, that's the thing. That's you know thing. what? I mean, actually, that is it. That makes sense. You know, I'm going to call Seth, actually. Yo, Seth, <laughs> I'm coming yeah. to L.A. I need a check. Give me some money. Give me that, some man. money. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Quagmire is definitely <laughs> my guy. I didn't even I thought about that. Giggity, 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 giggity. Giggity, yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Michelle comes in the house. And Quick story. I was in the village in New York one day crossing the street, and Dave Chappelle almost hit me in his truck, and that's how I met him. Crazy. That's crazy, right? Okay, I'm done. Uh, what happened to MTV? What, uh, back we, need in a the back. we need a t-shirt. What happened to MTV? What happened to MTV? MTV? MTV and um, 16 and I'm a whore. <laughs> back in the days, like 92, 93, <laughs> You're you're there all the time. Yo, MTV raps, and now what, what's happening? What's your opinion? Yeah, show what's reality happening TV with show MTV? Well, I, Co no, there it is. Corporate. There's more pregnant 16-year-olds in the world apparently the rappers. than rappers. rappers. <laughs> they won't there's dance. more. There's more. How can I be a cheerleader in four weeks? Than rappers. There's more fat kids that want to know how to lose weight in two weeks and fucking. <laughs> Hip <laughs> MTV, you suck! That's the message. <laughs> <laughs> we need to send it to MTV. What you know what MTV, though? You know what though? MTV, they, they, they know what they're doing too. You know what I mean? They've been doing this for a minute, so they just, you know, doing what's current. But then you got MTV too, which That's is more, videos, you know, it's yeah. more Ooh. catered to what we, you know what I mean? And so they, they still get it popping. They know what they doing up there, man. They just, they, they try and get a check too, just like everybody yeah, they else. They know how to earn money. That's uh, the thing. Because MTV's bosses, they look at <laughs> Their bosses like, they ain't put the shit on out of my head. Come on. Man. All right. That's a fix. Uh, that's an acronym. Uh, it's straight. And Scoob and uh, FX, it means because cause you love FX on your vocals. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. All right. And, uh, well, uh, before that, did you have any other name or were you like thinking about the, another name or can just you tell suddenly you the yeah, game gave can't you? can't even tell you those names. Uh, yo, I'm gonna go. go, 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 go talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Talk about it. <laughs> Give at least one. Talk at about le it. Nah, at I least mean, one. Yo, but it, it all, you know, revolves around DOS effects. But we didn't know whether we were gonna do sad effects. Sad. Exactly. So how does that work? Exactly. How does that work? I'm depressed already. This is the game. We had that in the making. That was in the mix. Like we had a meeting about that. That was a real meeting. Sad effects. Not sad. <laughs> but a so, good good name for a techno band. Right? So, so, uh, so, emo so, band. So, emo. <laughs> so also the effects part, those letters actually stood for um, words that were in Swahili. Yeah, uh, we were we were those guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm I didn't know so about it. I didn't know about it. Talk about it. Yeah, we I mean, don't, you don't know, know. Yeah, I do Maybe. remember, Swahili. but not yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do, but yeah, you know, we had those meetings as young dudes outside of, you know, young entrepreneurs, but didn't know we was entrepreneuring because we had to kick dudes out the meeting, like, yo, get the fuck, you know what I mean? And didn't know exactly what was happening, but yeah, you know, we had a couple Sad of... Sad effects? Yeah. Sad. I never heard... Why? <laughs> you, you can still change you know your name, you can still change your name. You still do it? That's do right. do, do yeah. the Sad yeah. effects? Yeah. You Come on! <laughs> Bob Daddy changes his name like once a week, so you can change your name. <laughs> Crazy, right? Uh, I don't well, think the world knows that one. Well, you dropped out of college at your last year, then you were touring with EPMD. Have you ever thought like once that maybe what would happen? Maybe that was a bad move. No, if, if everybody that went to school, uh, finished college, we were some fat. Depressed motherfuckers right now, hating life. Mm. We loving life. We loving life. If we had went to college and went and went to corporate America, we would be some big belly ass motherfuckers hating life. We loving life. I love my mom. But with a good haircut at least. <laughs> well, may, maybe, maybe. May, may, maybe not. You maybe know what not. I'm <laughs> but fuck well, that. We love what we doing. That's all. We, uh, we love what we doing right now. Fuck a job. We the job. 
Greatest <laughs> job in the world. <laughs> One more gang. Right. Fuck a job. Yeah. We the job. Every day, Saturday at nine on every. Hey, Crazy Drazy, I know that you used to stalk Big Daddy Kane. What? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Mr. Sheets? Um, no! <laughs> I, I know about it. I know about it. Give me the mic. Yo, Big Daddy Kane is... Yo, listen, I'm an MC, 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 MC. So, for me, when I heard Big Daddy Kane, I remember where I was, what I was doing. I was riding through the movie theater looking for a parking space. I was a 14-year-old kid, you feel me? So, Big Daddy Kane came on the radio with, with Biz, you know what I'm saying? And then it just changed my whole way to look at MCing. So, anything, I know records of Big Daddy Kane that... The average Big Daddy King, because him, special ed, I'm into lyrical lyricism. Go. Wow. All right. Uh, well, what's coming when it, when it comes to your new projects? Well, I, your CD is out there. Show Chris Reddick in the air. You're working on your CD, Scoop. Uh, and what's I'm next? I'm on my phone career. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. We're going to get to that in a second. Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy in the house. Jeremy. We was in second gear. You went to fifth. Like, he let his shit on his yeah. Second to fifth. <laughs> Oh man. man, what's coming? What's coming? Yeah, next? I mean, you know, got the, the uh, new solo joint on deck, and um, everything is this. You know, everything is this. Period. Regardless to what it is, Not it's all head. this. Yeah, it's all this. And, um, you know, feeling good about it. And like I said, you know, before, shot some footage today on stage and hopefully you know the polish crowd will be a part of the new video right now you know what i mean rocking can, straight vodka without chaser and nah nah it ain't even that type of party but just on some real hip-hop everybody just having yeah. a good time good energy good vibes you know what i mean cool yeah. uh all right uh, at the end uh can i ask you for one favor uh, well, Randy, I, I heard you doing some beatbox on the stage. Yeah. Well, uh, can I ask you for an old school quick action with some beatbox and a short freestyle? What? All right, so you're gonna. So Ron, so gonna get that. No, you're you're going to do the beatbox and in. and two. Look at that. So my yeah, needs. I'll give you the mic. I'll Boom. Give you the mic. That, right. Some of that new shit, son. All right. Show them what you're working on, son. Back, 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 back. With Doug, you yeah. Out here pulling, killing them. Oh, oh, you got some? Oh, what? Another day, another dollar. Gotta get it while I can. Don't know where to start, so I will where I am. Drinking, thinking with a cigarette in my hand. Gotta start it with a boom and it with a bang. Ain't talking about a jam, yo. I'm talking about a plan. If you talk about raps, you can holla at your man. Cause I'm thinking of a scheme. I'm thinking of a scam. How I could be, I could be richer than will I am. Not a blood or a crip. I'm a one man gang. I don't play shit, I'm a one man band I heard rappers go ham, well call me Bam Badass motherfucker sucker understand Baddest in the land, son of Sam Y'all niggas better duck and better dodge like Ram You heard the blueprint, yo, this the diagram And I promise like Onyx, yo, my shit slam World up whoa, whoa, whoa. Crazy Drazy, Diddy Dazzle Flex Boogity Bang DJ Rendezvous, the legendary Das Effects in the house. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Any town, finally. Big up. I'm the glitch modulator, sip on the data, verb conjugator plus herb.
up in Helena. Feed off a hater.